Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, well, uh, my channel is primarily an RC channel, uh, but about a year to a year and a half ago, I had made a video uh, when I was removing wallpaper. It's called uh, How to Remove Wallpaper the Right Way with No Chemicals. And I'm actually going to put a link into this video. The video is very, very successful. It's approaching 200,000 views. It helped out a tremendous amount of people. I got a lot of uh, nice comments back. And just thank all those people. Uh, I really appreciate it. Now, my father did wallpaper uh, removal uh, and painting and uh, house restoring. That was his career he did uh, for many, many years. So when I had bought my house with wallpaper, I was fortunate to have an expert on hand to teach me. Uh, now, my father never used dangerous chemicals when he did wallpaper removal over the years. He never believed in them, and uh, he taught me his ways and made me a believer. So, I'm going to just show you some of the basic stuff that I have here. Now, the reason for this video is because the other video I made showed one particular type of paper. And some people will send me messages saying that that didn't work for them. Uh, and they have a different kind of paper so we're going to go over some of the different methods I used uh, in the different rooms in, in my house. So first of all a dense sponge to have on hand uh, is, is a plus. Okay right here we have uh, a scoring tool. Okay a very nice tool ergonomically designed goes up against the wall these hit the wall and it only scores the paper. It does not damage your wall and you don't have to press ridiculously hard. And that thing is a wonder tool that came from Home Depot. A couple of old fashioned basic putty knives with a 45 degree angle on them. Uh, this is just a bottle I have here for an example of, you know, filling a spray bottle with hot water. Okay, the other methods. Uh, if you don't want to sit there spraying the wall, you can take a bucket, fill it with hot water, and you can apply it with a very dense uh, paintbrush onto the wall too. Okay, This is probably the number one key tool to have. This is made by Husky. It's sold at Home Depot. Uh, you get these razor blades that are four inches, Okay, and you get packs of five. You don't use that many, they last a long time. This actually has, this opens in the end and you store the other ones inside there. Okay, this is a big rubber handle, ergonomically designed. Uh, when you're not using it, you actually just, for safety, you flip the razor blade around so the sharp part is inside and this is just dull. Okay, this is an incredible tool that kept my sanity, okay and it's only about ten dollars and these are a couple of bucks uh, but this what it did was just phenomenal we bought two of them uh, it blew away the old style uh, putty knives that's for sure and the razor blades you don't damage the wall takes it paper right off okay so let's talk about some of these walls here okay let me focus here this was our kitchen wall okay now this method was the one I did in the original video and some guys said well that's not the hardest paper to take down I found harder paper this was hard because this had no paint underneath the wall guys okay somebody had stuck wallpaper right to bare sheetrock which in my opinion is the most difficult and the worst kind to get off okay so the method for doing that was you could get a corner piece uh, of the paper is where you, you usually want to start target and you start pulling it off and basically this kind of paper you pulled off the top coat okay and then you were left with a brown paper behind it okay and that's where we come back over to here how I did it was uh, you could use the sponge method uh, you can spray it I basically sprayed it. You could also move the water around with a sponge and a hot bucket of water. 
Uh, it really depends how you want to do that. That's really up to, to the individual, whatever you find is easier. Uh, and then basically this tool will come after the brown paper starts absorbing the water and you see it bubbling. Uh, you can also use the score, but if it's not that bad of paper, you really don't need to use the score. You just wait till it starts bubbling up and then you just gently scrape it and you can usually just peel it as you see in the other video I made. It'll peel right off. Uh, guys, patience is really the key to wallpaper removal. Okay, when you start getting overtired and you start gouging the walls and getting crazy, that's when you know it's time to stop. Alright, uh, but this, that was the method for this wall here, okay. This is the dining room, which has, is the last paper in, in the house right there, okay. Now, the hallway was super, super simple. You just grabbed the piece, the walls were painted behind there, it was a totally different kind of paper with a very mild glue. It actually looked like it was really nasty paper but we just pulled it and it would just come off in sheets and then you just got a bucket for this method uh, a bucket of hot water and then you went there with the, with the dense sponge and you just washed the wall down and removed uh, the glue that was there but this was probably the simplest was and thank God because it was the biggest it was the the hall and everything going up okay uh, so that method was super simple so that was a different kind of paper. The kitchen was a different kind of paper. All right, going into uh, the bathroom here. Now this paper in the bathroom, guys, was similar to the kitchen, uh, but a little bit worse. Same basic method. You had to get the, the first coat off, the first uh, coat of paper and then you were left with the brown paper but because this was a bathroom and it got hot and cold and hot and cold with steam the glue had activated reactivated back and forth and it was really uh, really tough to get it off the bathroom took me a long time but I took my time and it was basically the same method of just wetting it having the patience of it bubbling and then scraping it off and uh, if you do it and you take your time guys you won't damage the walls so basically harder for the fact that it got hot and cold hot and cold but similar to the kitchen as far as the way the paper was okay now we'll move into the living room here now the living room uh, the living room was the worst. I almost broke down in tears doing the living room. <laughs> I had to call my dad over for reinforcements for help to figure out. Now this paper we had taken a piece off and checked it out and it appeared like it was the kitchen. Okay, That you remove the first layer and then you were left with the brown paper. But this paper would not hold together. Okay, It just would not hold together at all. So we had to basically leave the blue on top of the brown. Okay, it was a blue paper with a brown backing. And what we had to do for this method was those that uh, husky scraper that I showed you. Had to basically scrape the wall down, the entire uh, walls of the living room with that method. Uh, and then what was ever left of, of the uh, brown paper, if the brown paper didn't come off, mostly guys, I don't want to get ahead of myself, most of the paper, the brown paper stayed on the back. Some of it came off, but the majority of the wall was still fully covered, and then we had to go back. Uh, these walls were painted behind uh, the paper, so we had to go back, and we had to wet all of the brown paper or the pieces that were left and then use that husky scraper from Home Depot. Uh, I did score these walls, okay. I did use the scoring tool uh, quite a bit in this room. This was the biggest room and it was the nastiest uh, room to do. But, if you can see by the video, these walls are perfect guys and they're smooth because I took my time and it took me about a couple of weeks to even a month during the winter time here in New England and I just you know when it got to me I just stopped doing it went back did a little more 
uh, and uh, we finally got it all off. But this room was the worst, you know, we had to use all the methods in here, the scraper, had to scrape all of these walls, guys, with that scraper. And we had to use the, the, the scoring tool that I showed you. Okay. So, let me go back here. And I'll show you these just one more time. Now, there's a lot of different types of paper out there, guys. Okay. Most of the methods are what I showed you here. Okay. Uh, if you have multiple papers, which I get asked about a lot, it's going to be the same deal, guys. You're going to have to use the scoring tool. You're going to have to scrape it. You're going to have to get it off. If it's one or two or three, it doesn't matter. The method's going to be the same way of getting it off. Uh, painted walls are the same basic uh, thing uh, where people will say uh, somebody put wallpaper and then they paint it over it. Okay, and they said, well, the room looks like crap because we can see all the wallpaper seams and we want to remove it. Well, it's going to be the same methods, guys. It's just going to be messier because now you've got paint on top of it. And you're going to have a lot of paint, uh, you know, chipping off and falling. Uh, if you're doing that kind of method, definitely get yourself a dust uh, a mask uh, and a, a good quality shop vac to vacuum everything. And uh, if you keep the area clean when you're working, it'll be a lot easier. Okay. But we didn't use any chemicals at all, just hot water and good old uh, uh, fashion, uh, just as using your hands and your muscles and, and uh, taking your time, having patience. And those are the keys. My dad basically told me that. Wallpaper is just patience. And uh, people want to, they see a room that's 15 by 20 or whatever their size room and they just want it done in two minutes and it's not going to happen like that. You know, and uh, if you hire a crew of guys to come in, most of the time you're going to get a bunch of, of butchers or college kids that are doing it part time. They're going to come in and they're going to damage your walls. I actually had a neighbor that said that, oh, I just, you know, I went crazy and scraped and who cares. I just put some, uh, you know, filled in the cracks and, and filled the, the damage I did with some the, the mud or whatever you call it there, the, uh, the, the, uh, different types of caulking or paste you can get to put out the 3M or whatever you want to put back, you know, to, to cover the damage. Why do that? You're causing yourself a tremendous amount of extra work, guys, okay? Take your time. I had walls that were the worst, you know, right on the bare sheetrock, unpainted, unfinished sheetrock, and I got them off without damaging my walls. So, you, if I can do it, and I was no pro at it, you can do it, okay? I was going off the advice of my father. Uh, the dangerous chemicals, the diffs and all that crap that they show you on those DIY networks and everything are garbage. They're dangerous, they're harmful, uh, and they're just not good to be breathing and working with. Hot water will do the same as those chemicals, guys, okay? Uh, this is how my dad did it for, for 30, 40, beyond years, and... Uh, you know, he was back in the day of no rollers and paint brushes and, and everything else. Uh, so, uh, the methods really haven't have changed that much, you know, uh, except for the addition of chemicals and all that kind of stuff, steamers and everything. Uh, now, I get a, a lot of questions about uh, plaster walls. My dad always said plaster was easier than sheetrock to work with. So that's basically what I tell people. If you've got plaster, you're in for an easier ride. Uh, plaster holds up better, especially for people that are going to get more rough with it and lose their patience. But patience is the key, guys. Okay, I'm not going to get into any of the other stuff like painting and everything. I just wanted to do this video and show you these walls and talk about the different methods of how we took the paper down. Okay, and uh, patience, 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 can't say enough. This is our last room in there, the ugly flower wallpaper. Uh, but we got our kitchen done, bathroom done, uh, all of the hallway, uh, the living room, and thank God that upstairs we didn't have any wallpaper. The, the be four bedrooms were clean of wallpaper in the bathroom and, and everything. So it's just time consuming and patience, guys, and that's about it. And I hope that this video clears up and helps a lot of people. 
and with these basic tools right here you can get at Home Depot uh, you'll be able to do the job thanks for watching any questions feel free to ask